In Ephesians 5 verse 18 we read these words, And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. In Acts chapter 4, Peter is filled with the Holy Ghost. In Acts 7, Stephen is filled with the Holy Ghost. In Acts 11, Barnabas is filled with the Holy Ghost. And in Acts 13, Paul is filled with the Holy Ghost. Do you see the theme? They're all filled with the Holy Ghost. We would deem these men to be great men of the Bible. But listen, they were just like you and me. They were just ordinary folk who were filled with the Holy Ghost. Now, if they were required to be filled with the Holy Ghost, we also are required to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Many Christians wonder today how they can serve God more effectively. Well, Ephesians 5.18 gives the answer, be filled with the Spirit. That is the great need of the church today, and to be filled with the Spirit of God. You know, someone says that the devil couldn't care less about our religious activity, but what worries and scares him the most is the anointing of the Spirit, because he breaks the yoke. Be filled with the Spirit. Mm-hmm.